Hey everyone, and welcome to this Blender 2.8 beta tutorial on Eevee's HDRI backgrounds, specifically how to use an HDRI background to light your objects in your scene without having to actually see the background in it. Now, I use this for things like physics simulations where I really care about lighting the objects. I don't want to put in a whole bunch of spotlights and things like that to light the scene up. I just want to have something fast that works. I've already done all the work on the physics, which takes forever. I just don't want to mess with lighting. Now, I have gone ahead and put this HDRI background. I see it's just a regular light booth, pretty much, that I've downloaded. And I, do, I like the how it lights my scene up. It's really nice, but I don't want to have to see it in my render. It makes no sense to the scene itself. Now, in Cycles, this is actually really easy to do. Let me switch to Cycles here. You go down to the World tab. Under the Ray Visibility here, all you have to do is uncheck Camera. The camera can no longer see the HDRI background, but you can see the lighting is still there. It just works really easy. The problem we run into is that Eevee is not Cycles. So we go ahead and switch back to Eevee here. And go back to the World tab, and it's just not here. Now, you'll notice that Eevee is updated way faster than Cycles, and that's what Eevee is good for, but it just needs some extra help to do things that were simple in Cycles. Now, the way we're going to do it with your Eevee to remove this background is just use the uh, shader editor to just basically punch it out and replace it with black anywhere where the camera can see it. To do that, we're going to go ahead and split the window here. I'm finally getting used to the window splitters. I did not like this new window splitter at first, but it seems like over the iterations of the software, it has really gotten better. Now we're going to go ahead and change this to the shader editor. And immediately, you'll notice there's nothing here. That's because we want to switch this from object to world. Now here's where your world node setup is at. You can see that it's basically just an HDR plugged into a background into the world output. So we're going to go ahead and just disconnect that here. We're not going to use that anymore. And you'll see the light just becomes this regular gray color. Like, yeah, that's default. And we're going to hit Shift A. We're going to add in an input of RGB. This is what our color is going to be that we're going to be replacing in our scene. We're just going to go ahead and put that to straight black. Well, the next thing we're going to need is something to mix these together. So we're going to Shift A, Color, Mix RGB. And as you can probably guess, we can plug the color from this node into color 2 and our HDR into color 1. Now you'll see that if we put this all the way to 0 and give Eevee an update here, nothing happens because I did not plug this back into the color. Let's go ahead and do that too. Excellent! That's what we're looking for. Eevee is back to exactly the way we saw it. Now let's try moving the factor all the way over to 1. There is no lighting. Everything is this black color that we added. So what we want to do here is find a way to say that if the camera is seeing this background, to just render it black. And anything else, go ahead and render regular lighting. And I was really surprised to notice, well, it's shift A here, that Eevee supports the light path node, which I was surprised because Eevee's not a ray tracer, but hey, what this uh, we're looking for is camera ray right here. It's basically what we're looking for. If the camera is seeing this object, then say yes or one. It's basically a Boolean. One is zero. It's one if it's seeing it and zero if it's not. So if the camera is seeing anything, we'll dump that into the factor here, give it an update. Everything of this HDRI background that the camera sees is now this black that we asked it to be. And, e and the EV render is now showing that we're st still lighting this entire scene with that HDRI background, but the camera's just not seeing, and that is perfect. That is what we were looking for. Now, since we're here, uh, there's a question that's asked a lot is, well, you know, I like the lighting, but it's facing the wrong direction. I don't want to rotate my whole model just to face the light the right way, especially because some of these uh, backgrounds, you get these light studios especially, will have a dead spot where you see the camera and the reflection, things like that, because it's a light studio. So how do we rotate this HDR image? It's actually pretty easy. Let's go over here, Shift A. We're going to add a vector mapping node. Put the mapping node here, connect the vector to vector here, and nothing happens. Not a lot going on. We, go and we move the Z back and forth here, and then we don't see any real lighting changes. That's because we're going to need some coordinates first. To add that, we go ahead and hit Shift A again, Input, and Texture Coordinate. And it just needs anything to work with, so the easiest thing is Generated. 
put that in the vector. And now we take this Z rotation and you can see over here that our lights are rotating around. This whole HDRI image is rotating around. You can put the lights wherever you want it because they have a lot of different uh, lighting situations you can choose from in these HDRI images if you just give it a rotate. So that is all that I have for this tutorial. I'm planning on doing one again uh, that is about EVs and just making it look better because you can tell that it, it doesn't look great. It was fast, but it, it's not awesome. So that is what the next tutorial is going to be about is just getting EV to look a little bit better. And I will see you in that next tutorial.